In this video we're going to look at inspection tasks in RER Master. By using these tasks available to you, you can keep track of all inspections for all properties. The inspections can be set up as recurring and entry notices can be printed for multiple inspections from the task manager. In order to set up an inspection task, you go into the tenants list, select the tenant that you need to do the inspection for, and under their tasks and notes tab here on the right hand side under add new we select to do an inspection task. This will bring up a blank screen for you in order to fill in the relevant information. I'll do this one as a inspection for Mr Abbott. We're going to set the due date a couple of weeks in advance on selecting the due date of the inspection, it'll ask if you want to update the start and end dates. We do with this one here. We also need to adjust, of course, the entry time for our inspection. In the details area here, insert in any specific information about the inspection that you need to look at. It might be checking the aircon filters or inspecting some prime maintenance that might have been done. Alternatively, it could be something that the tenants ask you to have a look at in the property. Under the type, we're going to do a routine inspection. Your options are to do an entry, an exit or other, as the case may be. Your priority will be normal at this point. The status not started, of course. We're not going to select a zone or a user defined. The user has, that is setting up this task is showing as capital. The user or the staff member to complete the inspection can be selected from one of the other users set up in ARIA Master. At the moment we're not being reminded about this particular task so in order for us to be reminded we need to switch on the reminders option in our user setup. We'll complete the information here for the inspection task. The next thing we need to do in completing this one here is to set up the inspection as a recurrence. Although we're going to do a, an, in, an inspection on the 5th of October here, we actually want to do recurring inspections every three months. So we activate our recurrence we also activate our reminder of course in here. I'm going to give myself a two week reminder for these. In order for me to give the entry notice to the tenant with enough time, I want to be reminded with plenty of time to do that. OK, on there, save and close. And we have now an inspection task set up on there. To be started on the 5th of October. Now I need to be reminded about that two weeks in advance. So what I must do in my user setup under setup users profiles and portfolios and into user options under reminders here is activate the reminders. I want to be reminded of the tasks that I schedule for myself and ones that I create for others. Also in here you can see the reminder options available for the different tasks available. Make sure you save and close your changes on there. And what we will do in that tenant area, back under the inspection, double click to enter that inspection. We can now actually put ourselves a reminder in there. Okay. So this task is to be completed or set up to be completed on the 5th of October. We want to be reminded two weeks prior, so we're going to put in a reminder of the 21st at 9am. Save and close our changes on there. And we now have inspections set up for our tenant. To manage your inspections, because you'll have set up inspections against a lot of tenants in the system there, under the task manager at the top right here, we can have a look at our information for inspections specifically. We're going to change our view option at the top here to all tasks. We're going to change our task type filter here to inspections. We can see here all our incomplete inspections that are showing here for the date range. Second, the fourth and the fifth are the dates that have been set up for these particular inspections. If I want to print entry notices for the three inspections that I have set up, I can click on and highlight multiple inspections here. By right clicking on there I can merge to entry notices for the inspections. Select the option on there. Put the tick in the box here to inspect the premises 
other than for a short tenancy movable dwelling. Nominate the lesser or agent, the person entering of course, and the address information on there. Select my method of issue for delivery. Our options are by post or in person. Alternatively, you can enter in a different method option there if you wish to do so. I'll just type in fax there. Select entry notice for these ones here. And what you'll find is that the entry notice for the three different inspections have been created here. Julia Gillard has her inspection being carried out on Tuesday the 2nd of October. We're issuing this notice to her on the 19th of September. Our next one here is our entry notice to Wayne Swan. Again issued today for an inspection on Thursday the 4th of October. And our last one here to Tony Abbott which is the one that we entered in. Issued again today with an inspection to be completed on Friday the 5th of October there. So these entry notices can then be printed out and faxed through to the relevant tenants. So what we've done in there is we've created an inspection task against our individual tenant. We've then been able to access and print the entry notices all at once to those tenants there. Entry notice of course can be printed individually if necessary. So that's the setting up of an inspection task in RER Master and also setting up of a recurring one. What will happen when you complete an inspection? The inspection here on the day of the inspection being completed you'll come in if you change your status here then to complete you will find that when you save and close that it will give you an indication that the task has been set up as recurring and in order to complete this task and set up the recurring one we say yes what you'll find there now is that this is the inspection that was created for the 5th of October once that one's been completed and we and we acknowledge the next task in order you'll have this one set up for approximately three months down the track as it was set up in the recurring area this is a great way of keeping track of your inspections and ensuring that they're completed in a timely manner.